Hey everyone, it's Evie. I'm going to wrap a coil today on camera for a Kanger Pro Tank. And I was requested to do this by Susie and Geekamo. So here goes. If I can get this to adjust, make sure that I talk loud enough. Okay. I have 30 gauge canthal wire, fingernail clippers, and I have uh, needle point tweezers, standard tweezers, a 1 16th drill bit, something to check my ohms, scissors, cotton ball, and a torch. So I'm going to start with taking apart this um, Addy and then unscrew it from its base. And I'm going to pull this pin out, maybe, there we go, and next is the insulator, and sometimes the uh, coil comes with it, and it did, you can see that's pretty black and nasty. Okay, now I'm going to take the stem off. That was my microphone that fell. Okay, so this leaves me with a little cup that I'm going to put the coil into. I'm going to take about four inches of wire. That was part four. Get another piece. Rather have it a little too long than not long enough. Okay. Now I'm just going to heat this wire up till it glows a little bit red. All right, now I have the drill bit and have the wire, and I'm going to leave a small tail um, at the bottom. Hope you can see that okay. And I'm gonna do 10 wraps, and this should get me between 1.8 to 2.1. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You want to have both your legs on the same side so you can stick it down between the cup, stick them down between the cup on the inside. I have one shorter wire and one longer wire. And I'm going to trim the longer one just a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. Trim it. Okay, now I'm going to squeeze this coil together that's actually on the drill bit still. Okay. So that's what it looks like. Now I'm going to slide it off. And I'm going to pinch the coil in my standard size tweezers. Just like that and then use my fingernail to it's not going to focus very well to, to get it as straight as possible Oops, that's not going to focus for me I think you can see it well enough okay now I'm going to torch it Oh, it 
flows red a little bit, keeping it squeezed. And that's very hot. So I'm going to take it out of the tweezers using the legs. That's what it looks like now. Okay, now I'm going to put the drill bit back in. like that. Now I'm going to get my cup and I'm going to stick the drill bit horizontally down with the, uh, sorry, the coil and the drill bit so that it's inside the cup like this. Okay, now I'm going to hold it down with my fingernail and I'm going to flip it over. And I've got the two legs and I'm going to bend the shorter of the two legs over against the cup. Wish I could hold still enough so this would focus. The other one I'm going to leave standing up. Then I'm going to take my insulator and I'm going to thread it over, where am I, there we are, over the leg that's standing. And this is the, really the hardest part probably for me, is to get this little rubber piece to go back into that hole. Let me lower this down just for a minute so I can, there we go. Now it slid back in. Okay, so I have one wire on the outside coming down through the hole, and I still have the folded one over that it's held down by this insulator. Now I'm going to fold this leg over opposite the other one. Okay, now I'm going to take my pin, I'm going to stick my pin back in, just like that. Now I'm ready to take my drill bit back out. Come on, focus. Okay, we'll just go ahead and take it back out. You can kind of twist the drill bit to help you get it back out if you need to. And it's stuck just a little bit. There we go. All right. There's the coil. All right. So next I'm going to trim my legs as close as possible. If you feel a rough edge, and I do on this side, I take my tweezers and push it down just a little bit. I think that's good. Okay, now I'm ready to put it back into the base. All right. Screw it onto my reader. Two point two eight. I'm actually going to leave it on here, and I'm going to put my cotton wick in. So I'm just going to take a very small piece of cotton. Maybe a little too small. 
and I'm going to twist it up and I'm going to trim just a little bit of that very fine hair on the end of it. Sometimes I get a little bit wet. Okay, now I'm going to thread this through the hole and that's what these little tiny needle nose tweezers are for is to grab it and pull it through. Now I'm going to take scissors and trim and trim. And if you have a thin juice, you can put another piece of cotton over the top of the coil. Okay, now I'm going to put my little chimney back on and my silicone. and make sure it's in tight and I usually check the elms one more time once I have it all put together just to be sure it says 2.25 okay so let me fill a tank and let's see if it works This is Strychnine Blends Buttery Nipple. Overfilled it just a little bit, so I'm going to run a pipe cleaner up through it to get the excess out. Okay. Now I'm going to take a couple of dry puffs on it to make sure that the cotton is saturated. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.